never heard of Black Wall Street, Tulsa. So you, you've heard of Black Wall Street, Tulsa? Okay, I would say I did, so you can tell the story. You, you, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, black people, generally speaking, back during the days of segregation, we had to shop in our own communities, right? And in Baltimore, where would that be? Y'all from Baltimore? <laughs> Pennsylvania Avenue? Pennsylvania Avenue. Avenue. Or the new Black Wall Street, up at Old Goucher. Okay, oh, Old Goucher. No, throwing new terms. You know about Old Goucher? No. Oh, the largest it, concentration of black businesses in Maryland? 20th to 27th Street from Howard to St. Paul. Brand new to me, too. I didn't know about it. Old Goucher. That's where Goucher College used to be, and then they had some disagreements and decided to move to the county. But the most famous of all, so considering that we had to shop amongst ourselves, uh, those black shopping areas, which they became known as, the, the most famous of the black shopping areas was in Tulsa, in Oklahoma. And they had, now I've heard varying amounts. Uh, on Wikipedia it has 191 businesses. According to some historians out of Tulsa, there were 600 businesses. But in all, in about 35 square blocks, there were anywhere from two to 600 businesses. And I know that's a broad range, but I said 600. But Wikipedia said 191. But hundreds of black businesses. And they were burned and bombed to the ground. You ever heard the song, you dropped the bomb on me? That's a true song. There was a bomb dropped on those businesses because back in 1921, 1917, 1919, a lot of the things that, uh, uh, such as uh, Ferguson, but lynchings were the issue du jour. A lot of that was going on across the country. And uh, in Tulsa, their turn came in 1921. So we do this Black Wall Street series to celebrate black entrepreneurs and professionals, as well as the people who support them regardless of race. We have honored just about every race except the Native American that I know of. So we are all open to suggestions. And the idea is to encourage Business. I must say that back during the days of Bob Ehrlich and Mike Steele, I was so inspired about entrepreneurship, making it real. Because as businesses grow, as Shalanda's business grows, she can send me business and I can hire you again. Yeah. And that's a wrap. <laughs>